Hey boss boos, what's up? What it do? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tierra J here and in today's video we just doing a real deal basic tutorial. Getting into the nitty gritty when it comes to the lace, the mistakes, the cleanup, the stickiness, the mess. All the questions, all the little stuff that people have questions about when it comes to lace. All the little things that we run into when it comes to lace that you may not see on a regular you know what I'm saying, beauty video. We gonna get up and close and personal with it today and just show y'all, you know, the real deal of how to lay this lace and how to get it right, how to get it tight. So shout out to Wiggins Hair for supplying us with the Wiggy Wig for today's video. Y'all make sure to click those links down below to check out all the information. They send us over this 24 inch body wave highlighted wig. Y'all, this hair is just so gorgeous. Like the first thing that caught my attention about this wig was the thickness of the hair, the quality of the hair. Like so much hair on this wig, the body wave is Popping, okay, so if y'all want to get your hands on this wig once again, make sure to click those links down below so Thank you Wiggins hair for sponsoring today's video sending over this really cute wig Okay, y'all gonna see you all in the video and I will leave my final reviews final thoughts on this hair on this wig At the end of the video, so make sure to watch until the end But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this wig slay and get up close and personal You know what I'm saying with the lace you finna lay it down <laughs> So girl, we gonna jump straight into this lace work with some in detail plucking and showing y'all how I mold this to get it flat, 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 flat. So I just start off by spraying down the wig with water. It makes it so much easier to pluck. You wanna make sure you got your spray. Now look at this right here. Y'all see the motion that I'm using going straight, like vertical with the hairline um, with plucking. I noticed that I was doing it wrong for so long. Like holding the tweezers, like going down like at a slant like going horizontally going against the grain of the hairline makes it come out super blotchy so i found that you definitely want to keep it vertical baby keep that um tweezer point vertical with the hairline and you're gonna get the most natural result so you don't like botch <laughs> the hairline okay and y'all see me just parting and going back plucking you kind of want to make it look bald for real like get you a little ball spot you know what i'm saying it's okay it's gonna make that wig that hairline look nice and natural watch that watch that you see that you see that yeah that's what we want <laughs> so we just gonna continue creating that gradual effect on both sides just by parting plucking parting plucking that's all you want to do and honestly plucking takes some time to learn like it took me a little minute to learn how to pluck for real because like I said, I was doing like a blotchy job a lot of times because I just wasn't positioning everything right. But you know, once you get your own groove of it, like it becomes really easy. First of all, huge congrats to my sister for launching her own Keeping Knee Styling Moves. Y'all, let me tell you about this moves this move just look at it i mean i love it better than the nairobi and i ain't even saying that because that's my sister like that moose is the truth okay y'all gotta go cop some i just had to plug my sis real quick <laughs> but this is my favorite part of the wig process when you get to mold it down and just get it on flat flat like literally this moose did about the whole job like look how sleek honey do you see how sleek girl girl yes but i like to go in with my blow dryer and i found that you need that concentrator nozzle girl when you get that concentrator nozzle that is just like a press and calm but better like it just flattens the wig so good like i just love girl you y'all see how flat the wig is i don't even really gotta say nothing else Okay, time to style and profile. I just wanted to give y'all the real deal scoop on getting a nice, clean, polished look when you're styling your wig. But first, let's go ahead and cut these layers. We're gonna do a little bang. I thought of something different with this style. Like, it's not really something you see. Like, I did a little side bang with crimps. Like, I don't know. I, I was feeling it, but I don't know. It kind of, it was different. It was different, but I am just doing those little face framing layers so we can have our little shebang popping. And then I just do these wavy crimps all the way around with this waiver that I found at Sally's. Love this tool, by the way. And this right here, y'all, hairspray is a wig's best friend. Like, a lot of times, especially with colored hair, you can have a lot of flyaways just because that hair is colored and, you know, it needs some more moisture, conditioning, and all of that stuff. But the hairspray definitely seals it in 
in when it comes to like a polished style so i love hairspray like <laughs> love it i use it like before i style it and that just gives it like a nice crispy salon quality like polished look so yeah And this right here is what I forgot to do in the beginning when I was taking care of the lace. But you definitely want to tint your lace. Um, at least this lace definitely needed to be tinted because it was like, I think this is a transparent lace to where it gives off like an ashy tone. So you need it to be like your color. So yeah, spray that lace, seal it in with hairspray, and boom, bada bang. But bleaching the knots along with the tint definitely would have made it a hundred times better. All right, the fun part, girl. I was about to lay this lace down, lay the wig down. So first, I'm gonna show you guys in depth my um, spray ball cap. So I'm just applying that gots to be glue. Gots to be, ooh, yeah, gots to be glue. I'm applying that to my hairline just to slick it down. I'm also using the free spray. The free spray is really the key. That really gets your hair like, I need to touch up like months of, of non-touched up. But you know, that, that spray gets it down. So this airbrush legs is what gives us our spray ball cap. But pause real quick. Like, do y'all think Sally Henson, whoever she is, Sally Henson, when she came out with these airbrush legs, did she ever thought us black girls gonna be using it on our wig? <laughs> oh my God, that is like hilarious to me. Like the same thing with Gots to Be. Like we really be innovating some stuff. Like whoever, who thought of that? Who thought of that? Because I know it was a black girl out there that was like, wait a minute, I could use, how, who even, I wanna know. Now I gotta go do some research. Who was the first person to think of this stuff? Who started using the spray brush, the airbrush on people's uh, wigs? Who started using the gots to be glue? That was putting white boys with their spikes and we took it for the wigs, honey. Anyway, girl, let's go ahead and spray on this ball cap. Like, I honestly don't know how I thought it is. I'm sure I'm not the first person to have thought of this. But when I say this works for us girls who is just not trying to fool around with the cap, summertime, especially summertime wigs, we do not have the time to have no cap on no head. I mean, I don't. I just, the ball cap method, the real ball cap method gives me anxiety. So to spray a little something and get the same result, an easier result is just everything for me. And then I just go in with that Ruby Kisses um, powder. I use that more so around my hairline. The reason being is because you don't want the Sally Hansen airbrush legs is wet. So I just, I never tried it on my hairline, but I just didn't think that that would go well. So the powder, it works. And I have definitely tested my little spray ball cap method. It, it works, girl. Like when you take the wig off and you want to apply another one, what I do is just grab like a wet rag just with water and i kind of clean off like the hairline part and i just reapply the powder but the sally henson it sticks like it just be sticking there and it does shampoo out you uh, have to shampoo it out even like with your braids in it comes out baby and you can do it all over again i just been loving this method
and of course y'all already know we use the alcohol to clean off the hairline which is definitely important if you want to get a good melt and you want it to stick so after that hairline is cleaned y'all know what i'm going in with the even lace spray this has become my new fave for wigs like it holds a lot like glue but it's very easy to come off and it's just it's everything so i put like a couple coats on you can put like up to three coats depending on how long you want to wear this wig for and just blow dry it in you can touch it bam it's sticky okay we finna get it in so i do want to show y'all too i cut the combs off inside of my wigs because i don't wear a cap you do not want no uh, combs snagging at your hair so just cut them off you don't need them and then i just work in those three sections i start with the middle and i just wanted to give y'all like a real view of how it is to put on a wig because i know my videos be like you know more so sped up but i just want to give you a really up close and personal view of like what it really be looking like sometimes when you you know what i'm saying trying to lay some lace and it don't come out right all the time so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do these other two sides and i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about okay time to cut the lace y'all i have like literally just learned that cutting the lace is probably the second most important thing to getting a good melt because when you cut that lace raggedy and i'm gonna show y'all why i don't like using the this this what is this called eyebrow razor the reason i don't like using this is because it leaves everything too raggedy maybe my razor just not sharp enough but when you go in cutting some lace you want everything to be like chum chum cham i'm not talking about like cutting in a straight line like making your hairline straight you don't want to look like you got a fresh line up you know what i'm saying you still want to cut it ragged but as y'all can see like that razor for me just it leaves behind like I don't know it's lace so it's a material so when it's not cut like like with a clean cut you're gonna have like some little pieces that just don't be looking that good so i started using like little scissors they like beard scissors but i just couldn't find them for this video so but i just want y'all to see y'all see how this lace is looking we ain't finna walk out looking like this you know what i'm saying but sometimes that's just how it turn out sometimes look at me going behind like cutting stuff this is what you would call i would call this not a super successful melt and sometimes you get that like sometimes it could be the lace because this lace was a little thick this lace is i believe is transparent so it gave like that little ashy look that you had to kind of finesse really that's what it is boom lace is a finesse game the more you finesse your lace like i said if i would have bleached the knots it probably would have went a little smoother during the meltdown but it's just a huge finesse game you got to get it to be your skin color you got to cut that lace right it's just like you blending in it's like a piece of art like you just got to try to blend it in the best way you can get this material to match you know what i'm saying your skin and you in there but sometimes it come out like this and guess what that is perfectly normal that is perfectly okay you can still save the lace all you have to do is get your alcohol get you a cotton round you really should use a cotton pad so because that cotton uh these cotton balls they be sticking to the lace but anyway yeah y'all see that mm -mm. but um just you know clean off that excess gel or if, if it's glue clean off that excess glue because you know sometimes you just don't hit it uh right on the hairline it could be some that spray outside of the hairline and it's so funny somebody actually asked me about this and i'm like girl this happens like it's very normal just all you gotta do is wipe it off with alcohol and then this is the super important part which is the actual melt so you want to take you an elastic little strip i found these on amazon you can check them out in my amazon store and what you want to do is press that lace that didn't really melt that good you know what i'm saying this is gonna melt it in so after you do your makeup sit around for a while take that thing off baby bam but i tell you girl i ain't do nothing extra that's all i did was put that thing on there 
boom and it melts it melts you good don't panic you good it's still not all the way perfect to me um this lace really it just i don't know it was the color for me it was a thickness for me like this wasn't my favorite lace to work with but it's still workable put that makeup on of course y'all seen that little indentation because i already did my makeup with the little strip on but once you put your you know makeup on and everything everything blends like it ain't the perfect, you know, most perfect install, but it, it blends, baby. So, now y'all know what I'm doing. Baby hair season, whatever. Arrogant Tay Curls. <laughs> and you might also have to go back in and spray, just like that, especially with the ear tabs. The ear tabs always be a little struggle for me, so. And then I like to use Got To Be Glue Gel to mold down my edges. It depends on the hair. This hair, I feel like needed the Got To Be, you know, gel just to have like that extra assurance but while using this you want to use the got to be gel before you do your makeup y'all gonna see why because it can create a mess and also you on you want to put that gel like one baby hair at a time because look at that baby hair yeah once it started to dry up like once you put that gel down it starts drying up really quick and it can leave you with that like white crusty and girl this baby hair right here was just a pain in the butt i had to go pluck a little bit wipe it off start over but you know sometimes it'd be like that this is just a real real deal tutorial okay but as you can see with a little time little patience realistic wiping off and starting over <laughs> you can get you a good melted lace even if you are a beginner you just gotta think about it take your time and boom bada bam child it ain't perfect but you can go somewhere highlight like i'll see just the quality of this hair hold on i want y'all to really catch it because ooh, ooh wee. the quality of this hair is absolutely amazing like the length 24 inches i am a little shorty so it, it's coming along with it like this hair is just so freaking popping i love it so i want to go ahead and give a little review on this hair y'all no negatives at all when it comes to this hair when it comes to this color like they did a bomb color job i love that it's not blotchy like do y'all see this like i just ugh. i would say that the lace needs a little work for you to do like once you get it it's not one of them you know throw on and go type of laces you do need to plug i would definitely recommend bleaching i feel like if i bleached my knots i would have had a way easier time with this wig. I will also recommend tinting it because the lace is kind of like that casty type of lace to where you need it to be your color. You can use like the even lace tint, that's what I use, or you could tint your lace with some other tinters. I don't, I'm not really into tinting lace, so I really don't know what I did. Tinting the lace, bleaching the knots, plucking is definitely a must when it comes to this wig. But if you take your time with it, like I didn't get it all the way perfect, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it could have been a little more just a little, I could have brought a little bit of strong mirror to it. I feel like I didn't get the lace all the way perfect. Maybe if I would have bleached the knots or like tinted my lace, that would have made it a little easier to like conceal and everything. But I still got a great melt from this lace, okay? Don't get me wrong, the melt was melting. Y'all seen the melt, okay? This wig overall is just, it's a yes for me. This could easily be one of my favorite wigs when I really wanna feel like a boss baby, okay? And just have a whole lot of hair on my head. This is definitely up for the job. So yes, girl, we cute now with nothing to do. Like I'm literally about to just take my makeup right back off and go to sleep. Cause I'm boring. It's Saturday night. I think I dressed up and everything and I'm finna go to bed. Boring. Location. You don't want to waste the beat. You don't want to waste the wigs. Like, I might have to find somewhere to go tonight. I don't know. We got to go somewhere. We got to see the world. We got to show the world this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Girl, that is it for today's video. Once again, thank you so much, Wiggins Hair, for this bomb unit. Make sure to get y'all hands on one. If you're interested, go ahead and click them links down below. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. If you ain't subscribed, come on, girl. Come join the crew. I know you want to join. We be having fun as well. Okay. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get my Instagram popping. So, follow me on Instagram. Thank y'all again for watching. Love y'all so much. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Now, I really need to go find me something to do. Because I'm looking the fuck good. Period. <laughs>